Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig. Well, the time has come. Catherine Bigelow! This is the only woman in the world who has won an Oscar for Best Director. When Catherine Bigelow's name was announced in 2010 for directing The Hurt Locker, it felt like the industry could change. These were the headlines then. And they're no different now. This year, what we saw was Lady Bird, which is a different kind of movie, a lower budget movie, directed and created by a woman. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Since Bigelow's big win, no other female director has won. Gerwig's nomination now comes amid the backlash of Harvey Weinstein's decades of alleged abuse and the emergence of... Time is up. Time's up! Folks, time's up! Hollywood is calling out the historic mistreatment of women, especially during this award season. Well, I think that people are aware now of a power imbalance. For too long, women have not been heard or believed. And here are the all-male nominees. <laughs> The movement is creating conversation, but it's not enough to put more women in positions of power. This is not an end-all be-all, you know, it's not a solution to a very systemic problem. Being a director in Hollywood is very exclusive, a very powerful role in Hollywood, and so we've seen it be kind of a boys club over the past 50 years, 100 years, and that's the problem, that we're not giving women the chance to break into that camaraderie of sorts. The number of female directors hasn't changed in two decades. In 2016, women directed only 7% of the 250 highest grossing domestic films. To put it in other terms, there are 24 male directors hired for every woman in Hollywood. There are female directors kicking ass in Hollywood, like Greta Gerwig, Ava DuVernay, and Jill Soloway. Well, the secret is that women do it themselves. They fund their own projects, they film their own projects, they write their own projects. Like we saw with Ava DuVernay in the beginning of her career, she had a Sundance movie that nobody wanted to fund. She funded it herself. We've seen that too with Jill Soloway on television. She was writing a lot of amazing scripted episodes for shows like Six Feet Under and the United States of Tara. And she was watching mostly men direct them, which is why she started to write Transparent and direct Transparent. Reese Witherspoon is launching her own production company. She funded it herself and she's really pushing women's stories, female-driven stories. I was spending my own money, which everyone in the movie business always tells you, don't spend your own money on anything. I was warned that we would never make it past our first few years of business because there just wasn't a market for buying female-driven material. Well, Reese Witherspoon is an anomaly in Hollywood. She's a very successful actress, but she's decided to put her own money on the line and kind of bypass this whole Hollywood structure. And so far, she's been super successful, not only hiring female directors, but female crew, which is all focused on female-driven stories. The Hollywood Reporter discovered the budget disparity for male and female-directed films. Men typically receive somewhere in the mid-30 million range, while women get 12 to 28 million. We've seen Patty Jenkins make less than a Zack Snyder on a DC movie, and we've seen Catherine Hardwick, who directed Twilight, which was a box office smash, face a humongous pay cut on her next movie. In 2017, 1% of the top grossing 250 films employed 10 or more women behind the scenes, while 70% employed 10 or more men. Well, women have shown that they are very capable of creating great films. In 2017, the top three highest grossing films were all led by women. Wonder Woman grossed over $400 million in the U.S. alone as the first female-dominated superhero film. The other two films, Star Wars The Last Jedi and Beauty and the Beast, were led by strong female characters. This year we've seen Lady Bird, a smaller budget movie, but that got a lot of love. But even if Gerwig wins an Oscar, the industry is unlikely to change as quickly as it needs to. Now we're in this movement, the Time's Up movement in Hollywood, which is really pushing the studios to hire more women behind the scenes, which is super important right now, because as we've seen, the industry is male dominated and it has been for years. Now we shouldn't use the Oscars as you know this measuring stick of the industry because like we saw with Catherine Bigelow that doesn't necessarily relate to change but it is a huge stepping stone and with the Time's Up movement this could really be a moment of power and change. <laughs>